Hey guys, Jeff here with the Common Sense Camper. Straighten out my hat there a little bit. Hey, uh, I did a review on a Rothko bag. I, I tell you what, you know, Rothko was new to me about, well, at least their gear three years ago. Uh, I always bought my paracord through Rothko. I just seemed to feel that they had the best prices and the best quality paracord on the market, and I still believe that they do. But I'm really starting to get into some of their gear. And the reason for that is, let's be honest, you, you get into bushcrafting and outdoor style and, you know, just outdoor activities. This, this gear and stuff can really start to add up and cost a lot of money. And the biggest thing for me is I want to be comfortable with the gear or the backpack that I'm, that I'm using. And Rothko has some really good deals out there on some products that, you know, are they Maxpedition or VanQuest quality? Absolutely not. I mean... You, you know, you're, you're buying a, a pack for $20 versus something that's $200. But you got to think about how often you're really going to use that thing. Now, I have a Maxpedition Falcon 2, and I use that thing a lot. And I take that for my longer trips. But let's say I just want to go on a day hike with my kids. Rothka really seems to be able to fit that need and be comfortable and reliable without breaking the bank. So... Uh, one of my other reviews I did uh, on one of their smaller uh, bags. So this is their messenger bag. And this is a larger bag. And I'm kind of using this as a, as a haversack. These bags are very inexpensive. You can get these online for as low as 17 bucks. And well, let's be honest. For $17, if I put a hole in it or I tear it or something breaks on it, I'll just buy another one. I, can be, I mean, I can buy these until... I'm 100 years old and still only have half the amount of money that I would in a leather haversack that's 100 to $200. Now, if you're bushcrafting and that's your lifestyle, obviously you want a really well-made bag. But for most people, like myself, where I'm not out bushcrafting and teaching that lifestyle, where I'm just going out every weekend maybe for a day hike or maybe an overnighter this fits the bill and it, and it does really well so this is the pack uh, I'm gonna tilt this down a little bit walk around with it so you can see how it wears uh, very comfortable uh, one of the nice things about this particular one is it has a really long strap now I will, I will warn you Rothko makes a lot of bags where these straps are really short. So you, you really have to watch that. And it's not a bad idea if you're gonna buy them online to call and find out how long the strap is. Uh, this strap here is about 50 inches long. Some of their stuff is only 32 to 36. And from, from my, my build, it just it, it's too short. And I like to wear this stuff lower, but that's the bag on. And then we'll show you a close-up here of the bag itself uh, it has clip-on straps which I like because you can unclip this and put other items on these straps which is kind of nice some of Rothko's uh, uh, bags are sewn in and you can't you can't add anything to these it also has a, a shoulder pad I can swing that around here for you it's uh, it's not much but it's enough. I mean, it's comfortable. Like I said, nothing, nothing real fancy. But for what it is, it works great. Has a little clip here for the main flap. You just unclip that and open it up. And then it has a snap pouch up front. I'm assuming this is the pilot's uh, messenger bag. I'm assuming that's for ammo. But I plan on putting pencils, pens, flashlight stuff like that in these elastic bands you could also cut these the stitching loose and make white, wider bands as well but this thing has plenty of room in it and I I came out here today uh, one thing I don't have in here which is I've already put up which is my 12 by 12 tarp but I have a Nalgene 32 ounce water bottle in there and then everything you could imagine I'd need my Hanky, my sharpening stone, a small pocket knife in there, uh, some paracord, 
small first aid kit, a small cinch sack for collecting fire tender. I have my Boy Scout cook kit in there. My fire starting kit and utensils are in there. I have my gloves, my tent pegs, my Baca saw, and down here at the bottom, the BK-7. And just so you know, that BK-7 sits on the bottom of that just perfectly. It's almost like it was the bag was made for it. And it's kind of nice because if you put that at the bottom, it kind of keeps the bag a little rigid. And uh, like I said, I already have the tarp up because it was raining out here earlier. And I still, guys, I still have plenty of room in this thing. I mean, I, I can still put a, another sweatshirt in there, uh, a hat, probably a sleeping pad would fit in here, a second tarp. I mean, there's all kinds of room in this bag. And so if you're looking for something inexpensive, for like a haversack, uh, I would highly recommend this because, again, it's very inexpensive. You know, if you tear it, put a hole in it, or something happens to it, it's under twenty dollars. I mean, you just you can't go wrong with it. So, there you go. This is Jeff with the Common Sense Camper camping out.